Good morning, my YouTube friends. It is about 8 o'clock and we are bait fishing for some big bass today. Can't be fishing all day because I gotta go to work, but right now, yeah, it's about 8 o'clock and we're gonna fish for a couple hours and uh, see what we catch. Got the bobber with a perch on it and um, yeah, we'll see. See what we can catch. Hopefully, a big bass. I'm really hoping I get the leader on. And usually when I'm fishing for bass, I don't have a leader on, but today we're going to put it on because there are, you know, <laughs> there are 20 to 30 pound pike in here. So not to say we're going to catch something like that, not around where I am. About, I'd say it's about 10 to 14 feet of water. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch at least, at least a 3-4 pounder today and uh, see how that goes. All right. All right, we are back. We are, we got the rod set up with a minnow, a leader, and a, about a size two treble hook. So, my setup today is, I have, I'm pretty sure it is a six inch leader, okay? So with the six inch leader, I have about a, I guess a, about a small bobber on, doesn't need to be big because I got small minnows. And in here, I have the treble hook. So, let's just try this treble hook. So when you're using medium sized minnows, you don't want to use treble hooks like these because the treble hooks like these tend to slow down the minnow. So unless you're fishing dead bait, if you're fishing dead bait, then that's no problem. So when you're using live minnows that are not huge, then use a smaller treble hook. It'll still catch a good sized pike. We're not going for huge pike today, but we are going for pike for rope, you know, one to five pounds. Anyway. So what you want to do is you attach the treble hook to the end of this, I'll pop it open, and then I got my minnows in here, all ready to go. And I'm only here for two hours, so I would recommend either putting the minnows in the water with a string to keep them alive longer, or I think you can get a machine that kind of does it for you, like kind of keeps them alive, like puts the oxygen and stuff in it, so I would recommend doing that, but I'm only here for a couple hours, so uh, see what we'll get. So yeah, that is my setup. I usually don't use sinkers, the, you know, you got slip knot sinkers and all that stuff that people use, but um, I don't recommend it in my books because I find that it slows down the minnow, unless you're using like a 6 inch, 7 inch minnow, then that's different, but in uh, my books, I don't use it, so yeah, let's see what we got, and then... I always keep out when we're pike fishing, okay? Let's just close this for a second. Is I always keep out my gloves and I have it's about it's about an eight inch hook remover. Because uh, these things can be feisty, so I wouldn't recommend people who haven't really pike fished before trying to take a pike off with without a hook remover or gloves. But I don't usually use it. Oh. I'm trying to pike fish in this like small river. As you can see, the mouth is right there, and the Lake Muskoka, and it comes down here. And so, when you're doing small rivers, it's almost like a kind of big ass creek. Anyway, so when you're <laughs> when you're fishing a small river like this, what you want to do, as you can see, it's not that big. It's probably about 20 feet wide. So, you want to kind of keep it in the middle because. It's probably, I'd say, the deepest part in here is about six or seven feet. And I'm not sure we're going to catch anything today for at this part because it's about 12 o'clock. It's 28 degrees out, so best. it's not the best time to be fishing. But usually I fish in the morning, but I didn't have time today. So we're going to try some hot time summer pike in the middle of the day. Anyway. So what I keep doing is I keep it in the middle or I keep it like close to the side, but when it gets close to shore, I, you know, throw it back out. You don't want to keep it close to shore because you're not really going to catch anything. You want to keep it in the middle. You know, you got this bait fish that's kind of, you know, wandering off in the middle that that's just open territory for a pike. Or, you know, if we catch a big bass today, you know, that's exceptional too, but we are going for pike. That is my name, is the Pike Hunter, and we are going to go for some pike. So let's see what we catch. So we are back again, and uh, when you were bait fishing with pike, okay, so, and I'm talking about not lure fishing, not anything, when you're using a minnow, we're just doing basic pike fishing today, which is a common minnow on the treble hook with later. Okay, so when you're doing that, what you want to do is, is when the bobber is bobbing, that's usually me and the bait fish, he's just hopping around. 
Holy crap. That was... Hold on one sec. Sorry, I just saw a huge jump, like right over here. I don't know if it was a pike or a bass, but something jumped, like, it was big. That's why I cut out that video right there talking about how to pike fish. <laughs> let's see if we can get them. I threw the bobber over there, so uh, let's see. So what I was saying, as you can see my bobber, let's see if we can get an example, because if he comes in, that would be perfect. Let's maybe reel it in just a little bit. It's gonna be hard, because put it down there usually with stick here okay so what I was talking about is when you see that bobber bopping around that's usually the minnow kind of doing its thing but when you see that thing slowly going underwater and it goes underwater don't hesitate and jump on the rod okay I've made that mistake so many times and when you do that the, most of the time the fish doesn't even have the whole fish in its mouth it doesn't even have the hook yet so you want to wait I, what, I do a number game, so I count, I go three, two, one, and then set. And that usually works. And what I've been doing is fish, I've been putting the hook over the top of the back fin or the mouth. You don't want to put in the tail because I've lost a lot of fish like that too. So let's see what we can get. One. Let's see what it is. I'll be back in a second guys. All right, so we lost him. I set the hook the first time, he let him go. It was just a two, three pound smallmouth. That we were trying to go, so not really upset that we lost him. So I got a new minnow, I spit the minnow out wherever the minnow went. There, he's down there. So we'll try again. I'm not gonna try to, I don't really care if I get that smallmouth or not. You know, maybe another day when we're trying for smallmouth. So, I made a mistake. So. That obviously was a big smallmouth. I find that the pike will hit harder, so it will set the hook better, but I set the hook the first time, he let go. I threw it back out, kind of bounced the bobber again to make the, the minnow more likely will be dead. So we'll try it again, and he hit it again, and I got him close to shore, but he, uh, he spit it out, so. Little shitheads. <laughs> I gave up a ca no, I'm at Cashy. I gave up at Hawk Rock River. Got two smallmouth bites, but nothing. So I'm here at Cashy Lake in Muskoka, and this has been my hot spot for walleye, but we are trying for pike. Like I said, this video is about pike fishing and how to do it. So right now, I've got the bobber back out, but I'm not using minnows, I'm using perch. So I've got the treble hook with the leader, and it's about, I'd say, probably about four feet from the bobber to the leader. That's how I keep it. It's not very deep here. It's probably maybe like, around this area I'd say eight ten feet so yeah we'll see I already caught a pike but I forgot to put it on the video I was at a different spot earlier so I'm sorry guys I should have got on video but I'll remember this time to get on video all right let's see what we can catch